Now, whether you're talking about Terra Luna Classic, you're talking about Shiba Inu Coin, you're talking about Bitcoin, you've got your critics out there, and you've got those that absolutely believe in it. Now, I'm going to be talking about Terra Luna Classic and a little bit about Bitcoin in this video. We're going to be going over some of the latest proposals, the ones that are passing, the ones that aren't passing. Passing? No, proposals that are passing. My gosh, sometimes it's a tongue twister, guys. I don't know. So we're going to be going over the governance, including the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. And I'm also going to be going over Jamie Dimon and, and his weird, strange, probably only held by him theories on Bitcoin. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2024 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you're getting that 5%. If you guys want cryptocurrency, see exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff. You get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. And finally, thank you to everybody going out to Amazon, grabbing your favorite bro merch. I know you guys are loving it because you're leaving great reviews. And I do want to say thank you guys very much for all of the support and uh hopefully you really do love your brand new hoodies t-shirts sweaters and so on now guys first i want to start with terra luna classic okay terra luna classics price action maybe it's been a little bit more stagnant than you guys have been hoping for over the last couple of days but the good news is it is not tanking down in price it is not super negative it's actually doing very well to maintain levels around that twelve thousand point per coin mark which is exactly what we want to see now i'm not going to focus too much on the price action because nothing really has changed since yesterday so if you guys didn't watch the video from yesterday Go watch it. What are you doing, man? I don't even know what you guys are doing these days. Go watch that video. Let's talk just briefly about these proposals right now and what we've got going on because the the burn tax proposal, the one that said 90 days at like 3%, 90 days at 1.5% Terra Luna Classic, no, I, I don't know if I've seen a proposal get so rejected recently as that proposal right there. Right now, okay, we've got January 21st, restore validator list to 130. This proposal is getting a lot of uh, it's getting a lot of votes and a lot of interest and it is very close to passing, but it is not passing. So, right now, 29.5% yes votes, 48% no votes and 21% voting to abstain. All nodes has voted, bringing the total to around 600 billion Terra Luna Classic voted for. At this point in time, it is past quorum, but it is not yet passing with only 29% of the yes votes out there. So if you guys are interested in that one and your validator voted a different way, make sure to go vote your delegation and uh, vote in favor or, or vote no if you guys would like to vote no. Now, changing the burn tax. I don't think with the, the current community, we are going to see a burn tax change uh, unless, of course, it is worded perfectly. A lot of these burn tax proposals for Terra Luna Classic are getting rejected and rejected and rejected. And right now, this is no different. 0.30% yes votes, 61% no votes, 33.6% no with veto, and 4% abstaining. So this proposal is getting rejected and getting rejected hard. With 224 billion Terra Luna Classic voted for so far, it's not yet met quorum, but we still have plenty of time. January 24th is the date there, and, and it does not seem as though it is going to pass. Now, that's where Terra Luna Classic stands in terms of its current proposals and so on. Let's just talk briefly about the overall crypto market. Now, we know that Bitcoin has just received 11 ETFs and institutions are beginning to buy in big time. Not all of them, though. 
JPM's or JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon believes Satoshi Nakamoto will either increase or erase Bitcoin's supply. Okay. Now, I, I, with as much respect as possible, I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. He is simply just making a statement to stay relevant. It says, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan, took aim at Bitcoin once again during an interview with CNBC at the Dav- Davos or Davos 2024 on January 17th. Diamond expressed an unusual theory in which he suggests that Bitcoin could be eliminated once its maximum supply is issued. He said, I think there's a good chance that when we get to 21 million Bitcoins, Satoshi Nakamoto is going to come on there, laugh hysterically, go quiet, and all the Bitcoin is going to be erased. (laughs) Number one, that would be pretty funny. Number two, it is not coded to do that. And, and number three, guys, I mean, dead serious. We're all going to be dead by the time 21 million Bitcoin are mined. It, that's not some sort of like a, a morbid joke or anything. We are all going to be gone. By the time we reach 21 million Bitcoin, there might not be a United States anymore. Like, that is so far off into the future. And with all of, like, the political unrest and everything going on, and the fact that technology advances so stinking fast these days, I don't know if we'll ever mine 21 million Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Like, blockchain technology and and the current way we're looking at things could change so drastically I truly don't know or think we will ever mine all 21 million Bitcoin. Let's talk about why. Diamond also suggests, contrary to this, there is no guarantee that Bitcoin issuance will end once the circulating supply reaches 21 million Bitcoin. He said, how the heck do we know that it's going to stop at 21 million? I've never met one person that told me they know that for a fact. Jamie, man, I've not met you, but I'll tell you something. I know for a fact. It's going to stop at 21 million. And and I'm sort of unjustly saying that because I know you're not going to be alive to see that happen. I'm not going to be alive to see that happen. And so far out in the future, man, what do you even care if it goes to 21 million? The U.S. dollar will probably not be around when Bitcoin is done being mined. One of Diamond's co-panelists, CNBC Squawk Box host Joe Kiernan, noted that the last Bitcoin will not be mined until about 2140. All right, man. If you're going to be alive 120 years from now, I think technology has far exceeded its limitations, and uh, it's time to go home. Kiernan added that the Bitcoin shares many economic properties with gold, to which Diamond replied, yeah, you might be right, but I don't own any gold either. Guys, what we have in the cryptocurrency space is a bunch of old critics, okay? They don't trust it. They don't want to trust it. Their dollar is their king. They bow down and worship the dollar, and nothing can be better than the almighty dollar. And that's, uh, unfortunately, and it's it's a bad look. It's an, it's an outdated look. But well, the good news is the younger generation is embracing digital. They're embracing These cryptocurrencies, they're embracing NFTs, metaverse, gaming, and so on. So eventually, the cycle moves on. These old guys, they will fall off. The younger guys, they will become the old guys. And what they grew up with, what they feel comfortable with, the Bitcoin that they know and trust will reign. And that might might just be a matter of time. But the cryptocurrency space is still yet to be widely accepted, which means that you are still extremely early in a brand new industry. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance. Free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.
let's get started. 